Hello everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Toro Messages. We're going to be doing a singles love reading for the Virgos. I already shuffled the cards. You already know what it is. So let's just begin. What does spirit have to tell us what's coming up for the Virgos, please? We've got some new energy coming towards our Virgos in love. Okay. Got the seven of cups here, okay? So there could be choices, options coming in for the Virgos, right? What is this? four of cups okay virgo i feel like you temperance at the bottom i feel like you have gone into um a patient mode here i may be tapping into some virgos who may be um manifesting scripting meditating imagining setting intentions on finding love or creating love options in their life here okay i love that energy here Clarify the seven of cups and the seven of cups and the four of cups of Virgo. Seven of cups and the four of cups of Virgo. The wheel of fortune. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this. This is you. This is representing you, Mochi. Please stop. This is representing you. Um, really meditating, trying to manifest options here and with this. Um, Wheel of Fortune, I can see this as you wanting to create a faded option here. You want um, to create something that would be um, your soulmate, some type of soulmate connection here. Or I can read this as um, fate is in your favor here. Okay, you've been doing manifestings. You've been trying to call an option to your life. And with this um, Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you are about to get it. Okay, it's about to be in your favor. Um, things are changing for you. Can you tell me what's coming up for the Virgo singles in love? What's coming up for the Virgo singles in love, please? We got the Princess of Cups here. Hmm. Okay, so you may be getting some type of fresh perspective on a relationship. Um, you could feel like you're new to this. Right, you could be feeling like you're new to offering your love in a dating game, right? You could feel um, maybe emotionally insecure, in emotionally insecure about offering this underneath. So you're offering um, only a little piece here. I feel like um, take it as resonance, sir. What, what can we tell them about what's coming up for the Virgo singles? Oh, okay. What a energy change, didn't it? With the Princess of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Virgo, I feel like there's somebody who wants to come in with an apology here. Somebody that you may have moved away from, right? Okay, take it as it resonates. There may be somebody who wants to offer some type of apology, offer you something here, um, give you some type of message. Also with the cup, they could just be wanting to offer you some type of message okay offer you some type of emotional message here but you have moved away from this person right you moved away from this what you perceive as a knight of wands energy this could be some person that is um in and out with their energy not consistent um confident free spirit energy just moving you have to move away from this and i feel like this person um uh, wants to move towards you okay with the six of swords here they want to move into calmer waters with you but they're still in night <laughs> night energy, okay? Can you tell me about the energy coming towards Virgos? Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody wants to come in and work on it. Could be this King of Swords here. But we are going to clarify. We're going to clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, you just ended some cycles. You're trying to manifest somebody. I feel like there might be some energy of a King of Wands in your past. That wants to come and apologize, but I don't want to focus on that energy. I want to see what's coming up new for Virgos in love. Anybody new here, y'all? Because uh, we got yeah, four pinnacles in reverse. So I feel like um, to let to find somebody new to get somebody new, there is something that you need to let go of. Okay, let's let's see about this energy. What's this four of pinnacles energy? Four of pinnacles in reverse energy. overcoming a past lover energy um emotions from the past yeah with the start i feel like you have healed from the situation now you want to be optimistic about love 
right? You want to let go of shit from the past and be optimistic about love and find your happiness here. So I also try to truth clarity, okay? This could also be some type of Leo energy. We got Aquarius, okay? What's coming towards our Virgo singles in love? A tower yeah some type of tower moment is going to be happening for you virgo it may be um you may be able to set down some burdens and responsibilities after this tower moment happens right can you clarify this tower moment for virgos in love yeah eight of cups this tower moment for virgos in love eight of wands ten of pentacles at the bottom okay virgo i feel like um with the tower and the eight of cups you're definitely going to walk away from some sort of broken foundation i was getting that energy i said before um when i saw the four of pentacles come out in reverse there's definitely something you have to walk away from let go of to have this forward movement in your life right you may have um broken up with somebody but the tower hasn't fully came down you feel me you may have um Shit, this is 2020 where you break up and you still have to live with that person until you find somewhere else to get type of energy like you haven't walked away from a tower situation but with this eight of wands i feel like there may be some sort of message coming in that will help you make help you move forward rapidly here i feel like there's some type of communication some type of message some type of something that will help bring this tower down and um help you successfully move away from something here okay what do we have to tell our virgos singles in love after they move away from this tower what is going to come in for the virgos the wheel of fortune again when we move away from this tower what will come in for virgos there it is y'all there it is we got the king of pentacles the two of pentacles and the ace of cups right right okay this and then choices again this is the energy that i was pulling y'all virgos you are in the midst of changing your perspective on love trying to manifest new options and new choices here right all while still needing to walk away from a tower moment here but there's going to be some type of message some type of communication that will push you out of this situation and once it does i see again with the closing out cycles the changing of cycles you will now then be um with this wheel of fortune shit will start going in your favor you feel me i feel like um you will either be this king of pentacles energy because it's you know virgo um cap capricorn taurus energy here um this could represent you having an obtaining um balance in your life having an obtaining um your financial stability you feel me and balance in your everyday life here and i feel like that is going to bring in some type of ace of love ace of cups here i'm sorry excuse me some type of new love romance um deepening intimacy here um pouring out of love uh, offer of love okay a cup of love i'm just i'm just name and shit right <laughs> but i'm i feel like once you close this cycle walk away from some type of site tower moment there will be some new opportunities here right let's see about it let's see because the choices did come back come right back up so i feel like this is definitely some type of love option here with this king of pentacles let's see what this is all about okay i'm loving this i'm loving this okay you might have to clear out some cycle you might have to is something with somebody you holding on to okay all right okay can we um clarify this wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles for virgo singles please yeah ten of cups y'all ten of cups okay clarify one more sign the wheel of fortune in the king of pentacles the wheel of fortune in the king of pentacles for our virgo singles just wait to the wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles for our virgo singles there it is we got the five of swords here tension conflict arguments okay 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 this is really this is really what i'm seeing here with the wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles being clarified with the ten of cups i'm telling you there's going to be a change where you can obtain some type of stability here some type of emotional happiness it could be emotional stability with family setting here it could be emotional stability in yourself take it as it resonates i feel like you are going to gain this emotional stability 
from conflicts from the past. You feel me? I feel like there was tension, conflict, arguments, um, irritability kind of relationships that you may have walked out of that you had to change from with this um, Wheel of Fortune here. And I feel like now you are wanting to find happiness, wanting to find love, this Ten of Cups situation. And I feel like you are going to attain it here. I feel like fate is in your favor to obtain this with the King of Pentacles. Okay, take it as it resonates. What can we tell Virgo about this? Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, now we got a match. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. We got some type of a divine couple, and they both a boss. Both holding their own pentacles. When you put one plus one together, it equals two here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So with this... um. King of Pentacles, this is a generous provider. This is somebody who's serious, who's um, financially and emotionally secure here. And with the Queen of Pentacles, this is his counterpart. She is also stabil has stability, abundance. She's also nurturing this um, earth mother, right? She got all the domestic comforts and the bag, plus the bag. You feel me, okay? And I feel like um, with this... Queen of Pentacles coming out for the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You could be finding your balance and then all new love comes in. And it might be this Queen of Pentacles here, right? Take the genders as it resonates. Okay? We're going to clarify again, though. Can we get the Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles again? The Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles for our Virgos. Yeah, we got the Ace of Swords, y'all. I'm telling you, there is going to be either a king or a queen coming into your life just when you're finding your balance. There's going to be some type of new love offer here. And it's with the Ace of Swords, I see this. I see attraction, right? I see facing problems head on. Like, you're cutting through the bullshit. You're getting straight to the point with this. Oh, my gosh. I see some type of victory here, too, with this Ace of Swords here i feel like this person this new love this new chapter will come in as a victory for the virgos okay can we can we tell virgo about this new love coming in this ace of cups please can we tell virgo about this ace of cups coming in for them right and then we'll get some oracles and close it on out can we tell us about this ace of cups coming in for the virgos mm -hmm. We got the eight of swords, okay? You might be feeling like you're trapped in okay, this this may give you some anxiety, okay? Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot. Um <laughs> with the eight of swords and the princess of pentacles, right? Offering yourself up, um, giving your offer here could be um a little scary for you. It could um put you in your head a little bit. Or this person's offering could make you scared put you in some type of mental prison here with the tower man oh my gosh can we clarify this ace of cups to virgos please the fool the new beginning okay 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 let's just unpack some of this energy here this Ace of Cups for you, this new love for you, I feel like um, you may be still um, in some type of mental prison because of this tower moment. I'm telling you, this tower moment was fresh, right? It was fresh. You still, you just let go of this person. You're just changing. So I feel like this tower energy may have, um, may keep you in your head a little bit about offering to this person because I feel like this person is going to come in and want to have some type of brand new beginning with you. Like take you away type shit. Like take you away in different states to have a brand new beginning here. And people you don't know, a place you don't know. Like literally jumping off into somewhere else here. Moving you into some sort of com calmer water virgo and i feel like five of wands i feel like this is really representing um conflict right playful banter type thing competition like this will be i feel like 
this person wanting to literally move you away into a new beginning <laughs> will cause some type of conflict with you maybe because you're still in this mental prison you're still fresh out of a tower virgo but let's see what happens when virgo if virgo takes this new beginning and move away into a calmer place with this person what will happen if virgo takes this full leap Oh my gosh, it's the Nine of Pentacles. What will happen if Virgo takes this leap with this person? Okay. 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 I'm so glad that came out in reverse, baby. But the first card that came out for the Virgos here. I feel like how did this turn out for you? This will be a balance of love and independence here you feel me i feel like this relationship will allow you to be a boss bitch okay <laughs> because i'm telling you with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles this is a divine wealthy stable motherfucking boss relationship here i feel like this person will put you on a throne on a pedestal here make you let you become some type of boss bitch here okay and with the five of pentacles coming out in reverse as the next card y'all this will improve your love life so much you'll be able to open yourself up to people experience happiness right the opposite about this this is like love this is like loss isolation loneliness depression so the reverse of that would be like happiness improvement right love feeling feeling close and with this king of cups as the outcome i feel like this would be a very compassionate lover i feel like this will be uh this king of cups will be emotionally stable financially stable okay this is the type of person who will put you in the energy of feeling like this boss bitch feeling like you have no more loss in the world okay this energy is beautiful i'm gonna get some oracle for this situation and we'll close this on out what can you tell me about this king of cups for our virgo singles this king of pentacles queen of pentacles relationship here for our virgo singles okay i love this read we had to go through a little transformation here to get to some type of new love i love that energy right okay so let's see Let's see what the oracles have to say about this situation and end it on out y'all my baby playing with my whole iphone um what can we tell virgos about this this king of cups here king of pentacles and queen of pentacles relationship y'all y'all i'm telling you i'm telling you i cannot i okay i'm flustered with this cleanse the energy clear the air spiritual hygiene meditate this is really symbolizing clearing and cleansing yourself of the old energies the old um the old programs the old shit from the past so this new glove can come in and what comes in when you change your shit virgo is karmic blessings abundance the midas touch magic okay what comes in is blessings you feel me? What can you tell me about this relationship between this King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here? King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Let's give them some... Oh, God, y'all. What did I say? I'm crying. What did I say about counterpart? Y'all, I be getting so emotional because I love this energy for the Virgos. I love love. I love a love story. And I feel like I've painted a beautiful love story about a meeting between a king and queen of pentacles that would be some type of divine union. What did I say about boss couple? What did I say about, oh my gosh. What did I say? What did I say? Unexplicit blessings, alignment, baby. Hey, what did I say? Let me get one more. Y'all. Y'all. And we gonna close it out on this one right here. We gonna close it out on this one, right? I, I knew to pick up the deck. 
I knew to pick up the deck to see to see more here. We're gonna end it. Like I'm so fucking flustered, y'all. The energy here is beautiful with this rebirth from RIP. I'm telling you, you will have to dump some shit with this tower here. You're gonna have to let go of some shit here that's kept you in a mental prison for so motherfucking long, Virgo. After you leave this person, you may have to go through a transformation and find your motherfucking balance, rebirth in a sense into this what? Boss bitch, boss bitch energy. You feel me? I'm loving this. I had to pick it up again because at the bottom of the deck, love at first sight. I love you. New love. Another ace of cups. Okay. I can't make this up. What's an ace of cups plus an ace of cups? The two of cups. Okay. Divine union. Y'all, I'm going to end this out. I'm going to end this out. If you like to resonate with anything please, here, please give me a comment down below. Smash that like button. Okay. And subscribe to see what's coming up next for Virgos. This was a beautiful ass reading and I enjoyed doing it for you. And I am very thankful for all the views, all the support, everybody who's emailing me to get their questions answered for 1111 right now. And everybody who keeps coming back to view my channel, you give me the energy to come back and to keep doing these readings for you. So thank you. And thank you for watching. Peace.